All right, in this video, let's learn how to replace the provide and inject options with the composition API. To recollect how the provide and inject options API work, I've already done the setup. In the components folder, I've created four new components. We have provide inject, child A, child B, and child C components. Provide inject is our parent component where we maintain a data property called name set to Vishwas. We also bind the same to the template using the mustache syntax. After the binding, we have child A component. Within child A component, we have child B component. And finally, within child B component, we have child C component. Now what the provide and inject APIs allow us to do is pass a value from the parent and consume it in a nested child component without having to pass the value as a prop through every component. In our example, you can see that we are providing the name data property as username and then in child C component, which is nested three levels inside, we inject the value and bind it to the template. I've also included the provide inject component in app component. If I now head to the browser, you can see Vishwas from the parent component as well as child C component. So this is how the provide and inject options API works in a component. Let's now learn how to replace the same with the composition API. For our first example, let's provide and inject a static value. Let's provide another username field in the provide inject component and inject that value for consumption in the child C component. Now to provide a value, we use the provide function from view. So in the script block, import provide from view. Next. Let's add the setup method, which is the entry point for the composition APIs. Within the setup method, we can now call the provide function. The first argument is the label for the value. Let's call it C underscore username. C for composition API. The second argument is the actual value we want to provide. Let's provide a static string code evolution. Now that we are providing a value, let's head over to child C component and inject the value. To inject a value, we use the inject function from view. So within the script block, import inject from view. Next, we add the setup method. Within the setup method, we can call the inject function. The first argument to inject is the label of the value that is provided. In our case, it is C underscore username. The second argument is optional and is a default value if there is no value provided from the parent. Let's go with default username. The inject function returns the value for the label, which we will store in a constant called child username. We can now return this from the setup method and bind it to the template. So return child username and in the template child component C composition username is child username. If we now head back to the browser, you can see the string code evolution from child C component. Also, if I don't provide a value in provide inject component, you can see the string default username being rendered, which is the default value specified to the inject function. All right, now that we have understood the syntax and usage of the provide and inject functions, let's quickly go over providing and injecting reactive values as well. That is using ref and reactive. That will also allow you to use the values not only in the parent template, but also in the child component. 
And since the usage is very similar to the example we have just seen, I'm going to go over this fairly quicker. In the provide inject component, I'm going to first import the necessary functions. We need ref, reactive, and two refs. Within the setup method, I'm going to define reactive values using both ref and reactive functions. Const count is equal to ref with an initial value of zero and const state is equal to reactive, pass in an object with two properties. First name Bruce and last name Wayne. We can now provide these values using the provide function. So provide c underscore count and the value is count provide c underscore hero as the label and state as the value. But since they are declared as reactive values, we can also return them from the setup method and bind them to the template as well. So return count and spread two refs passing in state. In the template, make two copies. The first one, parent component followed by count. And the second one, parent component hero, which is first name followed by last name. All right. Now let's head over to the child C component and inject these values. Let me import two refs and in the setup method, we invoke the inject function for both the properties. So const child count is equal to inject. The label is C underscore count. Let's have a default value of zero. And const child hero is equal to inject. The label is C underscore hero and the initial value is an empty object. We can now return these from the setup method and bind to the template. So child count and then spread to refs child hero. In the template, we can now have an h3 tag child component c count is going to be child count and similarly child component c hero is going to be first name followed by last name. If we now save all the files and head to the browser, you can see the count, first name and last name in both the parent and the child components. This time though, since the values are reactive, anytime the value changes in the parent component, the values automatically update in the child component as well. In fact, a point to keep in mind is that the recommended approach to update the value is always from the parent and not from the child. You can easily do that by providing the change handler as a function using provide and inject. Let me quickly show that to you. In the provide inject component template, I'm going to add a button. Increment count and the click handler is going to be increment count. In the setup method, I'm going to define the click handler. So after count function, increment count is going to update count value by one. Return the function from the setup method. But apart from returning for use in this component, we can also provide the handler to the child component. So provide increment count, the value is the function increment count. In the child component, we inject it. Const increment count is equal to inject increment count, return it from the setup method and bind the method to a button click event. So button, the text is going to be increment count from child and on click of the button call increment count. If I now head back to the browser, we have count as zero. 
click on increment count in the parent component and the value increments and if I do the same from the child component button the value increments in the parent component and the value is injected back into the child component. So that is about the provide and inject composition APIs. The provide function accepts a label and value as its arguments. The inject function in the child component accepts the label and a default value as its arguments. Return the injected value from the setup method and bind them to the template. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.